face. What is up guys? Welcome back to T-Town Raids. My name is Travis bringing you a war recap video. As you can see from our last war, we lost 63 to 70 against a very good Chinese war clan. Go ahead and jump into our bases here and show you what they did. They two start all of our Town Hall 10s and 11s and then every single one of our 9.5s down to all of our... We have one Town Hall 8. Uh, go ahead and show you, they actually had quite a bit more attacking power than we did. They had several heroes uh, levels that were 40-40, probably their top four bases. But we also have some 9.5, so we have some advantages as well. But what I want to show you is is base 22, scout it here. This is a, this is what they got. They have, I mean, this guy can hit like a Town Hall 11. But as you can see, he has all the Town Hall 11 troops. Let's see who he is above in war. There's 23. So he's basically a Town Hall 8. That's what he's pulling in. So, you know, they had a little bit of advantage. But still, we could have made it close. If we would have got all of the stars, we should have gotten. Uh, we should have lost 69-70. So we missed out on our end. So I'll give these guys credit. Some good attacks. But let's go into the war attacks. So I'm going to come back to number 8 and number 10. But I'm going to start at the bottom here with number 18. An attack from Zach. And this is actually a, uh, a quad goho with two jumps. And once it gets started, I'm going to pause it and show you one thing I would have changed. So he drops in two golems at different angles to get all of the point defenses uh, tanking uh, for the golems. Goes ahead and sends in, a, he has a bunch of wizards, so he's going to spread his wizards out one per trash defense. Going to go ahead and let the trash goes down before he drops his jump. Once the trash starts going down, he's going to drop his jump spells. And that's where I'm going to pause it. So he's still waiting on his jump spell. So drops his first jump spell, drops his second jump spell. Let me go ahead and pause it real quick. I'll show you one tip I would have done. If he would have dropped this jump spell a little bit higher, like up here, he would have opened up this whole pocket right here, uh, including this pocket right here. And if he would have wall breakered in right here and dropped his jump up here, he would have also opened up this part of the map. So essentially for two jumps, he would have had 80% of the base opened up. And those golems really would have pushed farther. The, war, the attack still works out well, but watch as you see the golems will get hung up. So go ahead and unpause it here for you. Just a tip that I would have changed, just to let you know that your jumps can cover a little bit more ground. Or a couple of wall breakers can make your golems go a lot farther. So CC comes out, as you can see, it's a hound. Goes ahead and drops a poison on it just to help to speed up the... Uh, the speed in which it, it goes down. Uh, golems on the left go ahead and like I said get hung up. Still doing a, quite a bit of tanking on that expo with the new expo. Increased HPS, uh, hit points and damage per second. As you can see um, golems are still hung up. He decides to send his hogs in on the back side. He has two heals. He's going to go ahead and drop one real early because the point defense are going to start targeting. And As you can see he knows the double bombs are right here so he drops his hogs in it away right here. So whichever way they go they're going to set these bombs off one at a time. Um, anytime you see double bomb sets, if you can attack them from this side, they're going to trip them one at a time so you don't have to even worry about them. Just kind of a tip here if you're uh, new to hogging. But as you can see, he drops his second jump on the hogs. And you see they didn't even set off the double bombs yet. Uh, skeletons come out, bombs go off one at a time, uh, doesn't even kill the hogs. Hogs go from uh, archer tower to mortar and that is that for the base. As you can see, still got some golems uh, hung up over here on the bottom. Like I said, they could have got some free reign to push through if his jumps were slightly better. But going to go ahead and split, uh, speed it up because a nice three star attack from Zach. Good job, Zach. Alright, let's see. Gonna move down one spot on the war map to number 19 for an attack from Cowboy Elite. Another quad uh, two jump go hog attack. He's actually gonna start his attack from the top. He's going to drop two golems down and he's gonna put wizards in behind. He's just gonna wait for all these point defense to go down before he even drops his jump. And like I said, what it, what that does is that clears all the trash so that when the CC comes out that the golems are protected by some wizards just in case it might be a balloons to keep his his golems up for a little bit longer. 
Uh, drops both of his jumps, uh, opens up the entire top half of the base. The golems are going to do a nice job just kind of pushing through. He reinforces his golems with a couple of wizards in from behind. Now what he's doing is he's just waiting for the double bombs to go off. He does know that they're here and here, so he's just kind of waiting. Now that he sees that one goes off on the left, he's going to send his hogs in from the left. And if you notice from the left there, there's no ch there's no um, spots down here for double bombs. He's just basically got to watch them and heal them and not fall asleep. And if he does that, the base is going to be wrecked. So the hogs are under heal constantly right now, being t uh, targeted by lots of uh, point defenses. But hogs under heal um, cannot be, not cannot, uh, will will last uh, through the point defense, especially whenever it's a mix of Town Hall 9, Town Hall uh, 8 defenses. Uh, loses some hogs to some spring traps. That second bomb set hasn't even gone off yet, but decides to go ahead and drop his last heal. Drops a cleanup wizard over on the left. Anytime you're hogging, make sure you always save a cleanup wizard or you could get you... Uh, those 99% one and two star frustration uh, rage quit ra uh, raids um, that make you really want to quit the game, uh, but then you'll be or actually they don't make you want to quit. They make you want to. They make you rage gem your next army. <laughs> so I've done that several times. But as you can see, uh, last defense goes down. Got one hog left and a couple of cleanup wizards, and that is it for this base. It's kind of a unique base design. I haven't seen anything like this, but still, it's not. At least it wasn't an anti two star bases. Those anti two star bases are real easy t for uh, any skilled attacker two three star. So nice attack from Cowboy Elite. All right, these next two attacks are uh, Town Hall nine or ten or Town Hall uh, bully attacks tacking down, but I did enjoy this one. Uh, this is a pretty solid town hall nine base and he's actually down as barb king but he has his grand warden and i do think there is something to gain here these are attacks that you got to be able to do we don't make our guys sit out for war uh, unless the both heroes are down then if you have both heroes down your town hall 10 you kind of can't war but you got to be able to three star a uh, solid town hall nines if you're down a hero and this is just how we're doing it so i'm showing you um, just so you guys can get ideas how to do it too so he uh opens up the whole base here with the earthquake as you can see this whole portion of the base is now open uh, now he's got one jump and he's got a whole bunch of valkyries that he's going to let just run free and then he's got eight golems just to take care of any extra pockets that uh that he, he's going to need to be taken care of so he waits on his valkyries like any valkyrie raid waits till the golems are going to come out and start being targeted cc comes out on the golems not going to do much uh, Valkyries go in. He's going to go ahead and speed them up and drop his first heal because uh, they're engaging a lot of point defense and the Archer Queen. As you can see, uh, the uh, Barb King, Archer Queen are down. Uh, go, uh, Grand Warden and Archer Queen go uh, try to take a walk up top. So he's going to go ahead and drop his hogs on the top side just to protect them for cleanup. Uh, as you can see, Valkyries are still down here at the bottom. Uh, basically going berserk on the bottom of the base and the hogs are just going to wrap around and clean up the top. So he's kind of got like a two-pronged attack, and I think he did that because his Archer Queen just started taking a walk on him. Um, and she's being reinforced by the uh, Grand Warden. His ability is going to give her a nice boost that she's just going to walk around cleaning up basically this whole base. As you can see, I think he's down to oh, four Valkyries, no, five Valkyries. These level five Valkyries are actually pretty beast mode, especially versus these Town Hall 9 bases. And he's also got the new level uh, six Hogs. Uh, if you haven't had the, if you don't have the Valkyries and the Hogs yet, I recommend that being your next troop upgrade. They are super fun to use and very, very powerful. So going to go ahead and split it up just because it's uh, basically waiting for the kill squad to get down there and wrap up that last pocket. But a nice attack from one fast donkey. As those are attacks that you got to be able to do if your clan doesn't make you sit out for more is when you're down a hero. Uh, we are a competitive war clan, um, but we don't make people sit out for war. We're not that competitive, so. All right. Last attack going to drop down here to number 10, an attack from Stew Dog. This is going to be a Shattered Golaloon with Valks in the CC. And this is a Town Hall 10 versus a Town Hall 9 very high level town hall nine as you can see he drops a jump opening up uh all of these pockets right here um what i believe he was hoping to get was both of these air defenses but as you'll see the air defense he doesn't get the second one but he does a really nice job uh recovering so he drops down his wizards as you can see to create a nice funnel those wizards all the wizards are for is just to create a funnel so his valkyries and his heroes will go in once uh, his valkyries and his bard king goes in he drops in a rage and those valkyries just look look what those valkyries do immediately take down tons of 
defenses and just high hit point trash buildings just so his heroes can kind of walk free. I think he's hoping his Barb King would go up and to the left and I'm not sure why he didn't. Maybe just because of that skeleton trap. But as you can see once his, his kill squad goes south he just goes ahead and launches from the the bottom side um, and it, once he launches two hounds at the first defense that's what you always want to do on the first air defense is two hounds then he sends targeted balloons at each of the defenses two per defense will take out all the defenses that you need um, you need more than that on the uh, expos but as you can see expos are pointed down so they're no threat uh, first hound pops um, second hound goes over to the second air defense and as you can see when you Deploying that counterclockwise motion, you see how the balloons are pushing through the middle of the base and not the outside of the base, kind of like a hog ring would. Hog ring would. Uh, and then he saves a couple of balloons for the backside. As you can see, he's still got his heroes up, Barb King, Archer Queen, a couple of balloons up, and then a whole mess of balloons uh, in that pocket right there. So like I said, another very good attack from uh, our number 7 Stew Dog on uh, a very high level Town Hall 9. And on these tougher wars like this, uh, you do need some of your Town Hall 9 or 10. Uh, two Stu's actually 9.5 to actually step down and maybe clean up to where your 9s can't take care of. But where we really lost it is just our Town Hall 9s couldn't take care of all their Town Hall 9s. So we still would have lost by one, but a good effort for the boys and girls of T-Town. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I uh, hope you learned something. Uh, if you could, leave me a comment, good or bad, on the maybe what you'd like to see next. Also, if you like the video, smash that like button for me. And lastly, if you are not a subscriber and you are enjoying what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. All right, guys, this is Travis from T-Town Raids. Peace.